everyone so uh, the topic that i am going to cover in this video is about ailerons as we all know that the uh, aircraft has two kinds of flight control surfaces one is the primary flight control surface and the other is the secondary flight control surface so the ailerons are the primary flight control surfaces and it moves the aircraft about the longitudinal axis and the, this also causes the aircraft to roll here in this picture we can see that the ailerons are uh, located on the outward trailing edge of each of the wings and uh, also it can, uh, ailerons are controlled by a side to side motion of the control stick in the cockpit or a rotation of the control jaw so the, when the aileron on one wing deflects down the aileron on the opposite wing deflects upward this amplifies the movement of the aircraft around the longitudinal axis and it provides the lateral stability on the wing on which the aileron trailing edge moves downward uh, this produces the more lift and more camber and also it is in the uh, downward position so that's why it increases the lift and conversely on the other wings the raised aileron decreases lift because the camber is decreased and also it is in the upwash condition or the also the result is a sensitive response to the control input to roll the aircraft and the pilot's request for aileron movement and roll the transmitter from the cockpit to the actual control surface in a variety of ways and it usually depends on the aircraft it can be controlled by a system of control cables and pulleys push pull tubes hydraulics electric or a combination of these can be employed so here from this video you can get the idea that how the aileron movement is done um, it is the video of about uh, the boeing 737 in which we can see that the flight controls are hydraulically actuated via cables and power control units and the aileron movement is controlled by the yaw rotation that is on the control column and this rotation causes the aileron to move up or down uh, if i talk about the modern aircraft uh, now uh, it utilizes fully fly by wire systems and however having a direct connection with from jock to the flight controls and it provides an excellent like level of feedback to pilots so thank you everyone that's all from my side if you have any questions so you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel